Good morning all, <clears throat> CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Friday morning, April 26th. We're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ESNQ. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible, okay? Never mind earnings, never mind PCE. Look at GDP yesterday. Market had a $4 gap, took it all back, and basically closed, you know, unchanged. Um, well, not, you know. Think about it, not unchanged, but we came back to where the overnight was, trading all night before that. Unless GDP changed, you, the, then the market shouldn't have rallied, right? What does matter? Is I'm going to give you two numbers that will be your line in the sand for this morning. They're the most important numbers on anything we follow, and that's the balance high. Remember, on the 24th, which was Wednesday, I said ES just stretched their balance high. That was at 24.75. And Q, I actually called up after Wednesday with their high of 795.50. Obviously, yesterday, ES stayed in balance and Q came back into balance when they gapped low and took out Wednesday's low. Well, so far, what have we done after the earnings came out? Well, we spiked pretty good, right? We're still up a lot. Right now, we have some pretty big gaps so far. However, these gaps mean nothing. If we don't get acceptance above 24.75, which will take us into the 15th single prints finally, and start eating away at that quadruple distribution day down in ES. And Q, nothing will change unless we get above 795.50 and start making our headway. Forget about the 15th. They still have to take back destinations and reference points from the 17th before they finally get into Mondays from the 15th quadruple distribution day now. Okay? That's pretty much, that's it. Now, getting above these two highs is not acceptance, right? We saw that on Wednesday. So it's going to be a battle between bears defending balance highs and bulls defending gaps for now. That's, that's your lines in the sand, okay? Plain and simple. I'm not going to even give destinations because it's going to change at 8.30, most likely drastically. Maybe we rip up and we stay above the balance highs. Okay, then we'll see if we hold it. Or maybe we rip down and take back the gaps that everybody's expecting that we may have. Okay, but those are your two lines in the sand that need to be defended. Balance high for bears, gap fill for bulls. Now, I'll recap these charts tonight, um, all of them top to bottom, but for now, this is what we have, an eight-day balance. Wednesday's high is the top of it, and the 19th low is the bottom of it. Everything else inside of here is noise, which is going to take MGI like it did yesterday and turn it on its head a lot of times. So please keep that in mind. Good luck trading today. Thank you for liking, subscribing to this channel, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.